So there have been videos circulating about this man, Tom Wright, and his behavior on a bus trip with these women from the Beacon House, which is a DV shelter. These women were evacuating because of the hurricane that was hitting Florida. And he, Tom Wright, had some allegations about these people, the shelter and how it's being run. And folks had some allegations about his behaviors. So there is an investigation going on. The Senate president calls rights allegations against the women's shelter troubling. So this is what's going on. Tom Wright has made some various, very serious allegations regarding the living conditions and financial management of Beacon Center. Wright, a new Smyrna Beach Republican, has been accused of flirting with shelter residents, evacuating the head of the hurricane, and then angrily confronting the shelter's then interim CEO on September 2nd, an action that was caught on video and has been circulated widely. As we have seen most recently with the criminal charges against former executives of the Florida Coalition Against DV, just because an entity is serving a vulnerable population does not mean they are above for approach or oversight, Pasadomo continued in a statement to the Orlando Senate. That being said, Pasadomo wrote, I take all these allegations very seriously. Survivors of DV deserve our compassion and support, and their safety should, I mean, is and should remain our focus. Angie Pye, the former CEO of the Beacon House, banned Wright from the Beacon Center years before his most recent allegations and said he has since made untrue accusations about the center. She said the Senate president's statement was disappointing in that it apparently addressed allegations Wright made about the shelter, but not um, the allegations about Wright's behavior. She just took him at his word and made a statement about the Beacon Center, Pi said, adding she intends to file a Senate ethics complaint against Wright. I'm a little concerned that there will not be any objectivity um, and there, there should be some accountability for his behavior. Pi says Sunday that the Beacon Center was underfunded, as many DV shelters are across the state. She said one of the reasons for Beacon Center issue goes back to Wright who she said poisoned the well with one potential um, with one potential source of fund. The Fund Coast Foundation was planning to host a fundraising event for the Beacon Center when Pi says she got a call from one of the, its members saying the organization can no longer help after hearing from Wright. I don't know what he said, but after that is when all of the problems started and Carmen Ruiz, the Beacon Center board president, started talking about meeting with Tom Wright. Growing tensions between Ruiz and Pai led to her August 30th resignation and the resignation by other staff and board members. Pasadomo's statement came in response to a demand by Florida Democratic Party Chairwoman Nikki Fried for a full investigation of rights behavior. Fried called the reports coming out of um, Volusia County damning. There is no excuse for Senator Wright to lay a hand on anyone, much less a woman, to protect her clients at a shelter for abused women. An additional report about his prior attempts to flirt with young clients at that same shelter involving discussions of pros and offering expensive trips are truly sickening. Regardless of the outcome, these are allegations that need to be addressed on both sides, but Regardless, this is a shelter and a shelter has a purpose, and that is to help a vulnerable demographic of people, you know, women and children who are escaping terrible situations. So I really hope for the sake of this demographic of people that what is going back and forth with Tom Wright and these people in charge is resolved. And I hope that they start getting the funding that they need and that people are protected from the likes of people like this who can use their positions of power to mess up funding if they don't get their way. So you guys go ahead, jump in the comment section. Let me know what you think on this. Like, comment, share.